Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing some patchwork nails because I haven't seen these for quite a while and I was looking through Pinterest and a random photo of some just popped up and I was like, do you know what? I actually miss this trend, they're so cute. So I'm going to do some in this video. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be using first of all. So we've got five colours first of all. These are the colours. So we've got Fleur, uh, Dusky Pink, Lilac Lace, ivy and banana milkshake as our main as our colors for this set so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint these nails with each of the colors um so we've got one of each nail color uh so like the majority of those nails like of each nail is going to be the base color and then we're going to use the other colors alongside them on top so i'm just going to do that off camera because i'm literally just going to be painting them all one colour so we'll have five different coloured nails and then I will come back here to do the design itself Um I love things like this because they're super super easy and you can do so much with it you can use foils you can well there's all sorts of different things like glitters everything you can put in your patchwork is great so we're going to do that off camera like I said Um and then once they're all painted up and we're ready to design we can come back here and do that together okay so next step we're going to start with the blue one just because that's the first one that i put in the lamp so it's ready before the rest um we're going to start with doing some patches of the other colors on this nail I'm basically just gonna be doing that on all of them but i'm gonna mix it up a little bit so they're not all too well they're gonna be similar but not all the same sort of thing so i'm just getting my brush ready i'm gonna be using the bestie brush from erin's collection obviously i'm sure you're sick of hearing me talk about it now but that's what i'm using so i can't really say anything different um so i'm also going to be using white as well i've already put that on my palette i'm just going to put some of each of the colors onto my palette over here because we're going to be using all of the different colors on each other so we need a bit of all of them obviously i don't need the blue for this one but i'm just going to get some out ready for the other nails that we'll need it on my polishes are a bit gloopy at the moment because it's really cold in my room i'm not sure if you can hear like a humming in the background it is my heater so i'm hoping eventually they are going to heat up a little bit um but at the moment it's super super cold so i'm going straight in with our first color so on this one i'm going to pop some pink and i'm just going to go in and apply that in random places best thing about patchwork is it doesn't have to be perfect because obviously that's sort of the point of patchwork is that it isn't perfect which is good makes it much easier to do because you don't have to worry about anything so i'm just creating a shape with this color first and then filling it in it would help if i was in focus So I'm just making sure that's all filled in. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in with another colour. So I'm going to go into the green this time and I'm just going to create another shape. So I'm going to do that one around here. And I'm going to have it slimmer than the other one. Bring it up to the top, which obviously on a real nail would be the cuticle area, and then I'm going to fill that in as well. And once I've done that and filled it all in, we're going to go in with the third colour. And for this nail, that third colour is going to be the purple, and I'm just going to apply that here, just create another shape. like that and then again filling it in and then that's what that nail looks like i'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure so while that's in the lamp i'm going to do the next nail so i'm going to get the green first i'm literally just using it on here like i'm going to do the pink with green this one this one and this one and then that one will have well three three colors on each yes yeah, so i just had to think about that then i was making my head hurt <laughs> so i'm going to go in with the green so this one will have yellow on it but not blue and then the next one will have blue but not pink and so on so now i'm just going to come over here and create a shape of green and then again just filling it in that's the boring part you can have as little 
shapes or as big shapes as you want like it just depends how much space you want to cover and stuff like that I'm doing them relatively small to fit three on but you could also just use two colors or you could use the same color so this green and the pink could be the only colors that I use and I just put patches of that on like just to keep it nice and simple and have less colors involved but then once I've done that, I'm then going to go in with another colour. So I'm just wiping off my brush to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going in with the purple. I'm going to pop that on here and here. And then just meet them together. That didn't make any sense, but I know what I meant. And then once I've done that, I'm going to fill it in. And then once that's filled in, I'm going to go in with the yellow and create yet another shape and then again the boring part just filling it in and that's what that one looks like so i'm going to pop that into the lamp now for a full cure as well so i'm just going to go i'm just going to do those two on camera because the rest are going to be the same process just different colors I don't want the video to be too long for the same sort of thing. So for this nail, we're now going to go in with the white. I'm using, oh, got hiccups. I'm using white gel paint for this. And we're just going to create some lines across where the colours meet each other. I'm not finished after this. I'm going to do more. But for now, we're just getting this bit done. Again, the best thing about this is it doesn't have to be neat, so make the lines all different and stuff, make it more authentic. So I'm going to do that alongside all of the edges of those shapes that we've just created. They don't all have to be like the same length and width and all that sort of thing, just going straight in, doing it really quick to give a different effect. And then just this one, which I'm going to do quickly off camera. Okay, then this is what we're left with. And then we're going to go in with some different shapes in the patches. So I'm going to use the purple on top of the green. And we're going to do some dots. Super simple, random stuff. So that's that one and then we're going to go in with the pink on the purple and this time we're going to do some lines just random lines down the purple just like that totally random that's that one and then we're going to do squiggles on this one with the only color that we haven't used yet which is the green so we're just going to go random curve just to mix it up so it's not just a normal dot And that's that one. And then we're going to pop that one in the lamp. And then moving on to this one, I'm going to do this one slightly differently. So first of all, as always, we're going to do those white marks on all the shapes. So I'm going to do that off camera because you just saw me do it on the last one. And this time I'm going to do it slightly differently. So we're just going to do dots this time. But I'm going to be using the different colours of dots on the pink instead of the patches themselves. So we're doing it like the other way around. So we're going to have some of all of the colours that are on this nail. So you've got purple, green and yellow. So we want some of each. Not too many, don't want overkill. There's already a lot going on with these nails, so we don't need too much. And then we're going to pop that into the lamp. 
So that's those two nails, they're so cute. I'm just going to top coat now. Obviously you can top coat in matte or gloss. I am just going to gloss top coat just for the ease of it. Um, I would have liked, if I'd have thought about it properly, I would have probably matte top coated the base and then gloss top coated the nail art or vice versa. But I didn't really think too far ahead. So I am just going to gloss all of it. But yeah, I think it would look really effective. Uh, if you did like some matte, some gloss but I'm just going to stick to making my life easy for once and I'm just going to use a normal gloss top coat uh, and then I'm just going to finish off the others off camera and then we can have a look how they all look together okay so as you can clearly see I haven't finished um, the set like there is just three left I just basically have lost the will to live and I'm being lazy like it's as simple as that I just can't be bothered um to do the other two and I need to film a lot of other videos and these take quite a while so I'm just going to show you these ones as the finished result instead this is what they look like I hope you enjoyed this video apologies for not actually doing the rest of the nails but you get the idea um thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with another video soon bye